In this video, we're going to be using Soap Commander at Thanks Living and the Tatara Miramasa Adjustable Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we have a good one for you today. Today is Thanksgiving in the United States, so happy Thanksgiving to you if you celebrate Thanksgiving. Today we're going to be using Soap Commander Thanks Living, and this has a really stout scent to my nose. And the notes are, I'll put them on the screen right there for you, apple, orange, clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Beautiful scent. I really like it a lot. Let's give it a whiff. Why not? Oh man, that is so, so good. Uh, the cost on this is $12 for three ounces or on a cost chart there, that is $4 an ounce, which is a fair price. This is a vegan soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And don't sleep on Soap Commander, folks. I know that Soap Commander has been around for a long time, but don't sleep on them because I'm telling you what, the lather I got from this soap today is just exceptional. It lathered easily. It's a nice firm base. I like it a lot. I'll show you a lather shot right there. And that is some creamy goodness and it smells great. So I'm really looking forward to this shave today because this soap, thanks, thanks living, excuse me, it just smells great. And it's got some good scent strength too. Um, I would call it high on scent strength. You, as soon as you take the top off, you can smell it. So it smells really, really nice. So we're looking forward to using this today. The razor for today is the Tatara Miramasa Adjustable razor and right now it is set on five we'll go ahead and uh, we'll put it down to maybe we'll start at three that's where i like to to start with it i know it's probably hard to see this is a very expensive razor I actually traded for it it's 370 us dollars without a stand 406 dollars uh, with a stand and you know me every time i use this razor i'm like tatara put the stand with it for 370 come on come on because <laughs> this is a very expensive razor, but I do like it a lot. It is well built. I like the length of the handle. And for me, settings three, four, and five are really, really nice. One and two, they work, but I don't really like them that much. But overall, it's a really well built adjustable razor. And this is the first razor that I'm aware of that adjusts both blade gap and exposure at the same time. So it's a pretty cool razor for sure. All right, let's just get into it. And let's start by misting the face. And again, if you're in the United States today, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, it is a wonderful holiday where we gather around with family and friends and feast. It's just a great time overall. And it also kicks off our Christmas season, which is really nice. And man, there is some good stuff in here, believe me, in the HCNC bowl. Don't sleep on Soap Commander. Every now and then I'll be like in a group having a chat with some guys and someone will mention Soap Commander and someone will roll their eyes as if it's not good. It is good, folks. Don't sleep on this. I'm telling you, no. Keep in mind, I, I speak from the perspective of what is necessary for the shave. And I always say this, if you're interested in post-shave properties, use a post-shave product. If you want oil of Olay skin, use oil of Olay. <laughs> That's what I say. Um, but in terms of the shaving soap and what it's gonna do for the shave here, which is provide that great slickness, lather easily, ease of use, very good with Soap Commander. Uh, not make you jump through hoops to lather it, so you can have a nice, enjoyable lathering experience. Soap Commander is good stuff and it's well priced. I think this one is a little more expensive than their normal offerings, the smaller sizes are, but Soap Commander is still a very good quality soap. It was good years ago when we first started using it. It is good now. And to me, the lather that I got from this is just fantastic. It matches up with just about anything else, honestly. If you lather a soap well, it will be slick, regardless of which soap it is, honestly. Uh, if you do your job properly, the soap will be fine. <laughs> All right, let's rinse the hands here after cutting that back just a little bit. And we'll get started with the Tatari. This is a very innovative razor, because again, like I said before, it's the first razor that I'm aware of that adjusts both the blade gap and the blade exposure. And on setting three, I like that a lot. That is very nice indeed. That is just really good. 
feels nice and smooth and the blade in here is the Gillette Nasset and this one is on its second use. What I'll generally do is use the same blade for three days and then uh, switch it out and that is very nice indeed. Like I said, for me, I don't really uh, appreciate the settings on this razor until I get to three and then on three it feels really nice. On one and two, it almost doesn't feel like it's doing anything. It does cut, because I've tried it, but it just doesn't give you much in the way of uh, feedback. You can't really feel it cutting that well. So on one and two, for me, it's kind of a, a waste on this razor. But they were sort of going the opposite direction of like the uh, Rex Ambassador, which is very efficient on all settings. This one was made to be a little more mild, um, so folks who don't want that hyper aggression would appreciate it. And I would say they accomplished that in terms of they didn't want to make a razor like the Rex Ambassador, which is really efficient on just about every setting. And I think they did a good job with that, but I could use a little more blade feel on settings one and two, if I'm being honest. But overall, I still like the razor and I'm not going to get rid of it. <laughs> But I do think, as I've said before, that uh, the price for the stand is like rubbing salt in the wound. When you're already close to $400, throw the stand in. Come on. I mean, <laughs> that's just my opinion. And I know they get tired of hearing me say that. Um, but that's just my true feelings about it. And we don't shy away from expressing our true feelings ever. We try to be um, fair about it. But, uh, man, I'm telling you what, the lather on this is really nice. Really nice indeed. And again, the ease of use through the roof and carry at Sub Commander is a really nice person. She's been around a long time. And she is a really nice person. And uh, I think some of the, you know, people don't, you don't see Sub Commander quite as much as you used to. And that's unfortunate because uh, they were one of the early artisans, you know, who really started making a lot of shaving soaps. And I remember testing the first ever soap, uh, which was blue. It was uh, later became Vision, and at the time it was blue. It's no longer blue. I wish they still make it, made it in blue. You know, it was it was cool. But anyway, it's kind of a cool water scent. It's very very nice, and uh, they've sold a lot of soaps since that time. You know, years years ago. I don't know how long it's actually been for them. Maybe seven years, eight years. I'm not sure. But they've been doing it a good while, and they are a nice family, of course. Carrie and her, she's got quite a few children that also help in the business, or at least used to. I haven't talked to her for a long time. She, al she also, Carrie, published a book on a soap making, and I will link it below. If it's uh, still on Amazon, I'll link it below for you. A, a, a book on how to make soaps. and. Who does that? Because a lot of soap makers are very protective about how to do things. But uh, Carrie from Soap Commander published a book that you can buy on Amazon about uh, soap making and shaving soap making. And it has recipes in it and everything. So I always thought that was pretty cool. And I'm going to tell you right now, the only issue that I'm having today is um, the uh, something in this. I think there's a little cinnamon. It's starting to give me a little minor... Um, burning and sometimes I'm sensitive to cinnamon and it is the case today but I'm going to go ahead and finish this pass out just to now if it were burning intensely I'd get off my face immediately but since it's just minor I'm going to go ahead and finish my pass quickly so I can wash it off it's a bummer because I love the scent of this soap but sometimes cinnamon and me just don't jive and today it's giving me just a hint of uh of burning and your your skin can be sensitive to just about anything and for me cinnamon is one of those things sometimes I can get by with it sometimes I can't and today I can't get by with it <laughs> so I'm gonna finish this up real quick I'll probably forego the cross pass just so I can rinse this off because I do see I'm getting some redness there on my face and that means my face does not like the cinnamon in this particular soap you know, it's a bummer, but it's still a great soap and it doesn't mean you're going to be sensitive to it because a lot of people don't have any problems at all with cinnamon, but 
I do, this is a rare thing for me. It happens like once in every, maybe a hundred or 150 soaps. So that is a bummer. I didn't feel it until this pass, but you know, what are you gonna do? Sometimes that's just the way it happens. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. I did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our Razor Rock Alum. There was no stinging there, so we had no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, but we did have a little uh, fragrance reaction from the cinnamon, nutmeg, or clove in the soap. So too bad on that because I really like the scent of this soap. Anyway, after the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber uh, with aloe, which is great stuff. Soap Commander, thanks living. Sadly for me, I'm sensitive to either the cinnamon, nutmeg, or clove, or all of those things, and sometimes that can happen. The best way to deal with that is to get it off your face as quickly as possible. It was just a mild reaction for me, so nothing that was major, but uh, if something doesn't feel right, go ahead and make the adjustment. So I cut it down today to two passes and got that off my face pretty quickly just to keep from having a, a bad experience. It smells great. It is strongly scented, but unfortunately, I'll have to end up giving this one away because the cinnamon got me on this one. Sometimes I get by with it. Today, I didn't get by with it, but that's okay. We're still thankful to have you. We're thankful to be having family later. It, there's many, many things to be thankful for. Um, we had a great shave with the Tatara Muramasa. I only used the three setting today because the, I had to cut the shave uh, a little short, but nice, smooth razor. It is definitely well-built. It is definitely innovative. It's just pricey. That's really the only drawback. And the fact for me that settings one or two, I just don't like that much. So three, four, and five are good for me. Settings one or two, not so much, but overall, I do like the razor. It is well built and innovative, and I like that a lot. We use the PAA uh, Solar Flare brush, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we will finish things off today with Sterling Mountain Man again. And someone asked me the other day, do you use Mountain Man every day? Typically, no, but I'm trying to finish this one up because I'm getting towards the bottom, so that's why. So we're going to use it again today. And I hope wherever you are, you folks have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Hope you're surrounded with family friends and just having a great time and if you're not in the United States and you're not um, celebrating Thanksgiving I hope you have an excellent day as well I appreciate I appreciate you all very much and thank you for being here it really does mean the world and remember folks lift someone up today say a kind word especially if you see someone struggling and having a lot of, <laughs> of negative things to say try to lift them up so you don't have to lift them out because you know if they can't be lifted up they got to be lifted out all right Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.